Welcome back. In SolidWorks 2013, we have some improvements in the way that we manage configurations. Let's start by going to the Configuration Manager tab. Let's right-click and add a couple configurations. I'll call them Config01. And let's add one more, Config02. OK. The Advanced Options area has a new option. It's called Add Rebuilt Save Mark. We're going to look at this option in just a second. Let's click Accept. Notice that the active configuration has a green check mark in front of it. The inactive configurations have gray check marks. What the check mark means is that all three configurations have full and up to date data sets. OK, let's add some material. Right click, Edit Material. And let's select uh, 1020. Config. Let's select all configurations. Click OK. And close. Let's go back to the Configuration Manager. Now we have the active configuration up to date. The two inactive configurations have a minus sign next to them. So what this means is that the data set is out of date or doesn't exist. If I activate the inactive configuration, SolidWorks automatically updates the data set. The green check mark indicates that the data set is current. So how this all works and what the point of it is this. When you generate the data set and save the file, the file size increases. On the positive side, it's faster to switch between configurations when all the data sets are up to date. Of course, it's very noticeable and potentially cumbersome for big and complex designs. So what's new is that in this release of SolidWorks, we have the option to flag the configuration with the rebuilt save mark. It gives you just a little more control. Let's right click, select Add Rebuilt Save Mark. Now when I save my part or assembly, SolidWorks will generate, if needed, and save the full data set for this configuration. Let's click on Save. Now let's right click and select Remove Rebuild Save Mark. The check mark tells us that the data is up to date for this configuration. Again, right click, go to the Rebuild Save Mark. Here we have four options Add Mark for this configuration, that means the active configuration. Add mark for all configurations. Add mark for specific configurations. And in this case, you select and add the mark to the appropriate configurations. And lastly, remove mark and purge data for all configurations. If you choose this option, SolidWorks purges the data for all the configurations besides the active configuration. Let's go to Options, System Options tab, Performance Branch. Here we have the option to purge cached configuration data. Let's click OK. Every time you save now, SolidWorks will purge the data for every configuration besides the active one and the configurations that have been flagged with the Rebuild Save mark. One final note, if you plan to open your file in SolidWorks 2012 Service Pack 5, the full data set must exist for all configurations you intend to use. And this concludes our tutorial about improvements to the management of configurations in SOLIDWORKS 2013.